Alright, so let's go... And then we'll, we'll queue up a bunch of narcs, so that should give me a decent amount of narc... Okay, come on, craft them! Craft them! Uh, sweet Jesus, you stay here! I really wanna- I still wanna narc one of those brontosauruses, but they just- They take so much. I- uh, you guys didn't see that, but I spent so much, like, so many resources getting the, uh, the stuff to make those, um, damn, uh, narc arrows so that I could do that earlier. Okay. That should be... How many, how many narc arrows is that? That should be enough to take down most anything, to be perfectly honest. Okay. Let's see. There we go. How much narc... So is... Whoops. Is narcotic our limiting factor, or...? Nice. How many, how many do we have? 27? We're gonna have like 30, aren't we? Oh, Aw, oh, man! I'm getting a big old... Getting a big old brainer just thinking about these. Okay, let's go get ourselves some wood, we'll repair our bow, and then we'll go and kill some. And one of the nice things about having the, um, the crossbows, it does not re need repairing as quite as often. Okay. Oh, this is one of the, the things about destroying all the, uh, like, deforesting the local, the local area, is that things become far and away. But that's also one of the nice things about, like, eventually when you, um, eventually we will have a few, like, Parasauruses, and then, like, we don't have to worry, you can go out on, like, a big trek and gather, like, tons of resources, and not have to worry about it. It's 38. Ooh, 38. Um, man, I really, I really want to kill that son of a bitch for just stomping around, being all tall and shit like that, you know, thinking, oh, oh yeah, congratulations, Brontosaurus, you're tall! Yeah, woo, good job! You know what we should do? We should just give give medals to tall things, that way every tree will have a medal, you know? Oh, whoop de doo Yeah, good, good for ya. Alright, um... Good deal. There we go. Am I projecting the fact that I'm jealous that I'm not tall? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, um, and then we want... Because in case we decide to train something, I swear to goodness, I am just gonna destroy every single one of you one of these days. How much level is he? Level one. So now the question is, was it how many narcs is it gonna take? It's probably not worth it. Probably easier to um, go after something like a, a Triceratops or even another Parasaurus. I'm curious how many arrows a Parasaurus would take. Um, hmm. Let's give it a shot. Okay, Parasaurus. And Dodd, stop running. Come on, that's... That's gotta be enough. That's gotta be... Uh, get out of my way, you stupid... Uh, that's enough! Look at that! Ha-ha! That worked pretty well, actually. So now let's see if we can get enough uh, hide out of this thing. Um, although, what level is he? Might be better to actually train him up. What level is he? He's a level, he's a level 21? Yeah, we're gonna train this one. Um, yeah, it sucks to what I just said. How many, how many arrows did that take? It only took like four arrows. Sick! We're gonna, we're just gonna take... Sweet Jesus! You're gonna have a new friend! Um, is he okay to leave? Oh, he's gonna be one of those ones that takes a long ass time. Hmm... Thinking about how best... If it would be worth it to try and get that... That damn Parasaurus. Probably best to do a turtle instead, right? You think? I wonder how many a turtle takes. Turtle would probably be better actually to hit it in the face with a slingshot because they're slow enough. Um, the narc arrows are good for like predators or things that can get away quickly. Like if we wanted to take down a um, uh, pterodactyl, like that'd be that'd be the way to do it. Okay, so we got ourselves another parasaurus. This is pretty cool. I mean, um, it's not terrible. Let's see. Um, let's go find ourselves. Let's see. Can we, do we have a slingshot on us? We do. Okay, so let's go, let's go take our slingshot out, we'll kill a, kill a turtle, um, let's see, there we go, let's get some stones first, we're gonna need like 30 stones probably at least, for starters, um, okay, good, come on, give me, more, give me some more stones, there we go, um, 20, 27, 30, yeah, that'll be enough, if it's not, then, you know, that sucks, uh, he'll be good for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and leave him alone for a while. Look at that brontosaurus, just, you know, over here, like, shitting all over everything I love. Cocky bastard. 
Zerv, somebody needs to cut him down to size. Okay, is there a turtle up here? I could have swore I saw a turtle up here. We need to be careful because up in like the areas like this, hey Dodo, um, there are, you know, large predators and stuff like that, so we need to be careful. Is that Triceratops stuck on that tree? If he's stuck on that tree again, we might have to take him out instead. Um, okay, there was a turtle up here though, I know I saw one. Um, oh, was that him over there? I could have swore I just saw him. Where the hell is he? There's gotta be a turtle over here. I've never been this close to the water and not have a tur had a turtle just roaming on the beach. There you go. There we go. He was just hiding. For good reason. I mean, I definitely I definitely don't blame him. I mean, he's about he's about to die. You would run as well. Okay. Let's see. Let's we want every every hit that count, so. Okay, there we go. Now we want to kite him down the hill. Come on. It's pretty fast for a turtle. Okay. Just trying to take a bite out of me like oh god. Okay, <laughs> my game, my game lagged up for a hot second. I was a little nervous there. There we go. Come on, come on, you, you great bastard. How about ye? Oh shit, that was maybe not the best. <laughs> um, how many freaking stones is this turtle gonna take right to the freaking noggin? Come on! I swear if you break my if you break my freaking slingshot before you go unconscious, this, I'm gonna be very mad. I'm gonna have to punch you to death. Ouch. Galloway Dodo. We're having Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. Right on our last uh our last Oh good. That felt good. It's always nice when things come together like that. Okay, now time to slaughter the beast. But Izzy is level level what? I don't know. I don't care. All that's gonna matter is that he's gonna have lots of hide for us to, uh, why am I so cold? So really cold all of a sudden, that's weird. Um, maybe it's cause I, you know, I'm dying or it's, you know, I'm just cold-blooded killer, that's probably what it is, actually. Alright, look at all that! Oh, look at all that! Hide! 43? That's definitely enough to make the thing, cause it was 60 hide, right? Oh, we got this! We got this in the bag! Okay, let's just make sure that, um, that, uh, oh boy, we're gonna have to come up with a new name for for this guy. Oh, I hate those brontosauruses. I hate them. Just hate them with a fiery, burning passion. Um, yeah, we'll give him another narcotic. Why not? Um, just uh, to really help knock him down. Okay, so, you sack of shit. I'm tempted to shoot him with an arrow just to draw him away from my place, but I'm worried that he's just gonna turn around and... Is he gonna seriously try and walk over the top of my building? Just the, the audacity of this creature. Alright. Making me angry. Um, all right. Let's see. We can. We should have enough now to. With this, we should have enough to to make our smithy. Yeah, look at that. Sixty-five hide. Awesome. Um, then we need our flint, and we need our wood, and we need our fiber. So we should have flint. Didn't we have enough flint? I thought we did. Oh, I used it all. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Um, so we'll put this in here. We'll put these in here along with this keratin. Actually, I have a different. I have the keratin in a different bin, don't I? Keep it organized, folks. That's the trick. And eventually, keratin's gonna be super nice because you can make shit and armor out of it, or kite and armor, whatever you want to say. Um, whatever have you. Hold on, let me eat all those berries. Oh, oh yum. Ah, oh, nothing quite like 40 berries in one sitting. You ever sit down and just eat like 80, 80 packs of blueberries? Yeah, I thought so. Um, okay, let's get a bunch of flint from this. I think we need like 10 flinch or something like that, but we'll just we'll just break this rock back here so that it's out of our way. And doesn't I? Look at that more metal. Good. Because we need more metal so that we can make our uh so we can make our smithy so that we can make other cool stuff like that. Such as a metal pick. Because metal a metal pick is gonna make it so much easier to get um get metal. Let's see. What percentage is he at? He's doing well. He's doing he'll be fine, he'll be fine. You know, take take to take to a leave. Call me in the morning. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying half the time. Okay, and then our wood, good. Let's see, we need this bin right here. No, well, poppycock. Okay, um, get the fiber first. There we go. Oh, I love that shelf. That looks so cool. It honestly does. It's like a great. I, I don't know. I really like it. I I'm all about you know. The visual, the visual appeal of things is a huge effect, or like a, a huge thing to me. Okay, craft our item, look at that! Look at that! Shit! Okay, we have one hide left. 
That's okay. Um, so we're gonna need to make some more spark powder with this, uh... Um, but look at that! Ah! Oh, I'm so pumped! Okay, so we put the- we'll put that upstairs, I think. Yeah, let's put that upstairs. Okay, and then we'll go... Yeah, or actually... I don't know, man, I'm so stuck on whether I want to put it up here or not. I feel like this should maybe be like a mobile platform for like spotting things and shooting things from, you know? Um, but I mean eventually it's just gonna be a little walkway, right? So like it's just gonna be a walkway up to the the real base which is gonna be up there So let's let's keep most of our let's keep our crafting stuff all together, but we're not gonna have enough room for our smithy is the thing Oh, I wish they had railings if they had railings I would do it in an instant like because the railings would just make it visually look more appealing up here So but okay, well, we'll put the smithy right here in the corner um, There we go and especially since we don't have to worry about like other players because if we had to worry about other players I definitely wouldn't put it up here because then like it would attract people wouldn't know that I had iron on me And so like it would be much more of a problem, but uh, yeah, so I believe the conversion rate for or to um, Or to metal is like two to one roughly two to one. That's what I think. So let's see we should be able to go put this in here Awesome. Oh see this is why I need to you like uh, I'll just I'm gonna put more of my advanced. I'm gonna build another crate up here that way like I can put my spark powder in there and stuff Okay, five spark powder. Let's get some more spark powder than that. We we can do better than that. Can we I think we can okay? And put more spark powder in here craft 16 of it. Oh hell. Yeah, all right Um, and I should gain latent um I should gain latent XP from that while I'm just chilling out waiting. Let's see spark powder Come on, put the spark powder in there. There we go. And we light it. Ah, look at that! Look at that! Oh, I feel so, oh, so good! I have myself a little forage. I'm the man. I'm the absolute man. I'm the best there ever was. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just like, put out the fire. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, so! We, now we gotta wait just a little bit for our iron to smelt. I wish it had like, um, cause you know, life is futile. It has a thing that shows you um, requires wood, thatch, or spark powder to activate, put unrefined resources in this to refine them. Um, I wish that it had a little bar that shows you, like, how far along it is. Um, let's go check this guy. You know, like, how far along it is before it smelts. Like, Life is Futile did a really good job of that. Although, you know, there's, this is like a, a, a Life is Futile in a lot of ways, except for they've done a much better job with a lot of things. So now, river rocks are a, usually a good place to get actual metal. Um, let's see. But these are not really river rocks, actually, to be perfectly honest. River rocks are rocks that, they're rounded they, in shape, but, um, large rocks tend to have at least one metal in it, so let's see. We should be able to get at least one metal from this as well. We'll have to actually find ourselves a little, like, river, because we're in, like, a little inlet, so if we go to a river, there should be actual river rocks there, and that should give us some more metal. Oh, that one didn't give us any metal. That's a little bit of a bummer. I hate that Brontosaurus. I just hate it with a fiery, burning passion. Okay, what's his torpor at? It's a, nine, it's a little under a hundred. It's, it's gotta eat one more time and then it'll be tame. Like that. Or I guess one more time after that. <laughs> one more time after that. Okay, come on. Oh, we gotta think of a name for this one. Um... Okay. Good, I hate you. I hate you so much. One of these days, I will- Aha! He's gonna be... Uh, he's gonna be life... Uh, life... Guard... Scrunchy. Scrunchy, there we go. Except, lifeguard scrunchy. There you go, lifeguard scrunchy. Oh, he's level 30, wow! Okay, so let's, uh, let's check out his stats. Look at that, 360, um, can hold 270, melee damage, 235, that's actually pretty good. Damn, son! Alright, um, well first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set you to passive, and then we're gonna bring you over here next to Sweet Jesus. Come visit your friend. Look at this! Look at this, Sweet Jesus, I got you a friend! We actually, we, now we need to, what we need to do is get a, um, a female Parasaurus, because a female Parasaurus will give them a mate bonus, which will make them so they have higher defense, higher attack, all that sort of good stuff. But that, I mean, that's, that's like an extra 270 pounds that I can use to pack around, so that's pretty, pretty sick. Um, okay, let's go ahead, check on the, um, oh, I hate, I wonder if I put, um, if I got those spike traps, if I could put them over by my base and it would hurt that thing so that, it, like, it would slowly kill itself. And look at that! Oh, I got three iron ingots! Three metal ingots! I'm the best! I'm the best server was! Oh, boy! Um, so we actually, how many metal ingots do we need to make the smithy? Um, because we have to use the smithy to, okay, so we need 
five metal ingots. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay. Um. Hmm. You know what? I am actually gonna take. I'm gonna take everybody on a little bit of an excursion on a bit of an adventure. I think I might actually take, I might leave Sweet Jesus here and take Scrunchy Ben instead. Um, let's see, we're gonna want to take some of these, some wood, so we can repair tools, and then some thatch, and we're gonna go find ourselves a river that we can, um, that we can, like, there we go. So, repair item. I used all of our thatch? Damn, son. Um, so we're gonna go find a river that we can use to actually um, get some metal from, but you know what, actually? I think that we're gonna wait and do that next time, because it is just about nighttime. So, thanks for watching, guys. You guys, keeping you guys, and I think that we, I think we accomplished, first I'd say, we, I think we accomplished a lot of good stuff today. I'm pretty pumped about everything that we, that, that we accomplished. Oh, I should take this stuff from, from Lifeguard Scrunchy. Um, so, I think we accomplished a lot of good stuff. Uh, we definitely, like, you know, got some, we, we got a, a second dinosaur, we, we built a second story to our house, um, if you guys don't think that, uh, uh, we did good, then, you know, um, I, I guess there's just no pleasing you. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, I'm probably gonna make a whole bunch of dyes while we're waiting, um, and then do some cool stuff with dyes like that, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys, you guys, keeping you guys, and I will see you in the next one, take it easy, Bye bye <laughs>